What's up YouTube? It's Wonderfully Untamed and I'm coming on to do a video response to res respond to one of my subscribers who sent me an email this week to ask me um, a question about hair density and I did respond to her personally but I let her know I would be doing a video as well. Um, her question was whether I had experienced any changes in the thickness or I guess the thinness of my hair has did my hair thin out at all after I big chopped and my answer to that question was no um, after I big chopped I would say if anything my hair probably just got thicker because it was just healthier um, one one thing I did say was that before I big chopped I used to have pretty thin edges and that's because I've always had long hair but I, I've had a habit of just playing with the hair on the side of my head, twisting it around, and just doing a lot of stuff with it on one side, really this side. And of course, it starts to thin out when you play and when you manipulate it so much. But of course, after I cut it and it was short, then there wasn't any hair there to play with. And so that hair actually grew back <laughs> and grew in um, to its normal thickness. First of all, here's, well, let me see. Here's what they look like, and I can't actually see what I'm showing you. They're still not the thickest, and I think that's just like a genetic thing. I'm, I've, I'm okay with it. I usually don't use um, a brush on the edges of my hair anymore. If I do, it's a really soft brush, and I brush really softly. Um, and I know, you know, most of us mess with the edges of our hair to f try to flatten them out, so you might add gel or whatever and brush them back. So I'll do that, but I will either just use my hand and kind of press it back or like I said maybe very softly with a brush but I don't rush you know press hard with a brush through my through my um, edges anymore and I, I don't know when I stopped doing that it's been quite a while I'd say at least a year um, and slowly but surely um, whatever hair loss you've had on your edges will start to fill back in now it's only gonna fill in as much as your genetically designed hairline is meant to fill in so you know this whole process is about self-love coming to appreciate yourself for who you are and what you offer to the world so you know don't be the person to get all wrapped up in your edges not looking like somebody else's it's just too easy to fall into that um, but be happy with what you have and be the best at what it is you have you know what I mean so that's really all I have to say about that. I know there's all kinds of ointments and things you can buy that super grow or do grow, all kinds of stuff you find in the stores. I've really never tried any of that. So if you're having any problems with hair density and just meaning that you're, you feel like your hair is thinning out after big chopping and you know you're using a healthy hair care regimen, then I would definitely suggest you go see a dermatologist and um, just make sure everything is okay. I mean, I guess stress or diet, um, you know, many things can lead to hair loss. I guess age too. I mean, I, I don't know how old um, this particular subscriber is, but I guess age could also lead to um, some thinning out of the hair. I could say that my mom has maybe had some hair thinning since she's gotten older. I'm not sure, but she's also natural. So that's that. Um, and if anyone else has anything you want to add to my answer, of course, feel free to post another video response. Before I go, I want to let everyone know that uh, over at supernatural.webs.com, I have added a, a forum, a discussion forum, and I have a topic there. My first topic, um, I would like to hear from you guys on what you do to maintain a healthy balance of everything in your life. Um, and there's kind of a backstory to this question, which you can read about on my blog, um, which I posted in an earlier video, the website to that. Signed hyphen PS dot blogspot dot com. That's the that's where the backstory is. Question on the forum is what do you do to maintain a healthy balance of everything in your life? And for me, I I could rephrase that to say, how do you manage your energy? Um around balancing everything in your life. I'm at a point in my life now where I really monitor my own energy in regards to everything I do and making sure that nothing is taking too much energy away from me because I just see that as a negative force. So I don't want to get into all that right now. I may do another video about my thoughts about, about all that. But that's my general question. Please leave a comment. Engage me in some dialogue. I want to know... Um, how other natural hair 
divas, naturalistas think about these sort of things. So be great to hear from you. All right, guys, I got to go to bed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.